Megadose and creatine after 50. This isn't a supplement strategy. It's a line in the sand between survival and collapse. Now, if you ignore these 10 rules, creatine won't just fail you, it will turn on you. It will burn through your system like wildfire searching for weakness. And if it finds any, it will consume it. This is not the world of just take five grams of creatine and hope for the best. Nah, this is a biological battleground and creatine is the accelerant. In the near future, you will look back at this moment and realize that this was the line, the point where you stopped aging like a civilian and started upgrading like a weapon. I'm Simon H, your Muscle After 50 coach. And my mission is simple, turn aging men into unbreakable assets. Follow these 10 mega dosing creatine rules and you'll become a silverback built for the end times. Break the rules and creatine will expose every flaw that you've been hiding. If your hydration is sloppy, creatine will scorch you like dry earth. Now, if your information is high, creatine becomes a soldier without a battlefield. And if your lifestyle leaks strength, creatine will come in and flood the cracks and drown you in fatigue. Megalosin creatine after 50 is a biological contract. And if you're man enough to sign up, I'll show you how to survive and thrive. In part one, I showed you why megadosing after 50 rewrites your biology. In part two, I showed you how to build an awesome stack around creatine and survive the protocol. Now, if you miss those, the links are in the show notes and you may want to go backwards before you go forward. Because today, today is where you receive those 10 rules. They're not suggestions, they're not guidelines, they're rules carved in stone, written for men who refuse to die slowly. Rule number one, hydrate like a professional, not a Taurus. Now creatine can't work in a dehydrated body. A dehydrated man is an unreliable man. He can't think fast, he can't lift, he can't recover deeply or access the strength he believes he still has. Creatine depends on water, movement into the cells. No hydration, no uptake benefits. Creatine doesn't work on hope. Creatine works on hydration discipline. When you take creatine, especially at those mega dose levels, your body pulls water into the muscle cells. This increases intermuscular hydration, ATP signaling, force output and cell volumization, which directly helps muscle growth. But here's the trap. If electrolytes aren't present, like your sodium, your potassium, your magnesium, your body can't hold the water you're drinking, so there's no use in guzzling down tons of water because you'll end up pissing it out. Creatine ends up transporting drops, your muscle contract weakens, fatigue sets in, now you've got those little headaches appearing, your strength fades, and that's why you hear some people saying, creatine makes me feel off. No, dehydration is making you feel off. So here's your action plan. First thing you want to do every morning before anything else is add a quarter up to a table, a teaspoon, should I say, of quality salt in the morning in some water, preferably warm water. Now, when I say quality salts, I mean the likes of Baja salt, Celtic sea salt, Redmond salt, um, Himalayan pink salt. And then also later on in the day, especially if you live in a climate, a hot climate, you want to take some electrolytes in your water. Try not to drink your water as plain water, but add electrolytes. Also, if you're known for suffering from headaches while mega dosing creatine, don't just assume that it's the um, creatine that's the problem. First of all, after speaking with your doctor, increase your sodium. 
because that will elevate energy based on hydration. Rule number two, pair, pair should I say, creatine with protein. Now creatine needs building materials to amplify. Creatine boosts what you already have, like your strength, your recovery, your power. But if your protein intake is weak, creatine has nothing to build with. Now, a man over 50 doesn't need less protein. He needs more absorbable protein. You see, anabolic resistance rises as we age. Your gut produces fewer digestive enzymes, stomach acid, now that drops. Protein ends up not being absorbed efficiently. Creatine amplifies protein synthesis. Okay, here's your action plan. First things first, check your protein. How much are you taking? Now anywhere between 0.8 to one gram per pound of ideal body weight is around, is really good. <coughs> Excuse me. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you incorporate digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar with some meals, before some meals, and always make sure that you stop drinking water with your meals. Why? Because it dilutes your stomach acid. And as we said earlier, as we get older, we lose stomach acid. Now also, with your post-workout meal, should be fast digesting protein like whey, and add some extra leucine in there. Now, if you're an older guy with an inflamed gut, you may want to start spreading your protein evenly throughout the day instead of taking it all in one sitting. Rule number three, support your kidney filtration with more water. So we spoke about electrolytes, let's speak about water. Because creatine, that doesn't hurt your kidneys your hydration habits are more likely to. Your kidneys, they're not fragile ornaments. They're engines built for war. Filtering your blood 24 hours a day, clearing waste, regulating minerals, and stabilizing the internal chemistry that lets you train like a man with purpose. Now, creatine is not the threat. Neglect is. You see, when you megadose creatine after 50, you're not harming your kidneys, you're just giving them more work to do. And just like with every battle-tested piece of machinery, when the workload goes up, support becomes mandatory. Now, this isn't fear, this is responsibility. A silverback does not run a high-octane engine on low-grade maintenance. If you want the benefits of megadosing creatine, you've obviously got to give your filtration system exactly what it needs, and that's more water, minerals, and most of all, consistency. See, it's simple. There's no negotiation. It's the law in this jungle. Men over 50, they hear the word creatinine, which is a byproduct of creatine, and they panic. You know, they see the numbers rise on the lab report and they think, oh God, the creatine, it's damaging my kidneys. Wrong. Creatinine isn't kidney damaging. It's kidney workload. And workload obviously rises because you're storing and you're converting more creatine. So here's the deal. Your muscles are now producing more metabolic byproducts. Your total muscle mass, now that creeps up, slightly more baseline creatinine. In other words, creatinine goes up because your system is working, not failing. Now what your kidneys actually need right now is a higher fluid volume, high enough to move creatinine through the filtration system efficiently. Now if your water is low, Filtration is slow. Creatinine accumulates slightly, what else happens? You get headaches, fatigue, you feel weaker, you've got less pumps in the gym. And creatinine, and then you, know, you start thinking to yourself, wow, creatine is bad for me. No, 
you're underwatering a high performance biological engine. Older kidneys don't decline because of you using creatine. They decline of, from decades of low water intake, high stress, poor electrolytes, and total dehydration. Okay, here's your checklist. You gotta start the day or start your morning with that kidney primer. You know, 500 to 700 mils of warm water, your quality salts mixed in that water, and this next part is optional, but you could put a lemon in there for extra electrolytes. Now, this restores the blood volume and wakes up your filtration. Now, if you're megadosing creatine, the baseline rule is this. 35 to 50 mils of water per kilo of body weight per day. Don't ask me to do the equations in other metrics, but that is the solid baseline. More muscle, more creatine storage, more filtration. Respect that equation. Now, the next thing you want to do is add your electrolytes, as we spoke earlier, twice, three times a day, because creatine pulls water into the muscles. Electrolytes keep that water circulating through the system, so you're not just pissing stuff out that you drink. Now, the next thing that you need to do is split your creatine up into, if you're mega dosing the creatine, split it into a couple of doses. You'll have your one first thing in the morning, or better still with your first protein meal. And then if it's a training day, I will take my second um, bit of creatine post-workout. Okay, so if your urine is dark, you're already behind. That's the truth. Hydration, you see, it's not a feeling, it's a metric. Now, if you get your headaches, fatigue, or nausea using creatine, the fix is almost always water, sodium, magnesium. Not, oh God, I gotta stop creatine altogether. Not, oh, I'm panicking about my kidneys. Just proper hydration. Now, you can get lab tests with context because a slightly elevated creatinine in a muscular man that is on creatine means nothing. Tell your doctor, I take creatine, and please run me a cystatin C for accurate filtration. Now, cystatin C is not affected by muscle mass. It just tells the truth when creatinine can't. Okay, rule number four. You've got to get your inflammation under control because creatine thrives in low inflammation environments. Now, inflammation is your quiet thief of strength. It steals your energy, recovery, absorption, and mental sharpness. Now, creatine doesn't work well in bodies that are consistently fighting internal fires. You know, your high inflammation increases, or reduces, should I say, creatine uptake. It weakens that ATP production, slows down the gut function, increases joint pain, blunts testosterone, disrupts your sleep. Creatine isn't the issue, your internal environment is. So here's your checklist. Take a mega, mega freeze daily, things like curcumin, black pepper, and also take 10 minute zone two walks after each meal. Reduce things like your seed oils and processed food. And if you can, get a couple of sessions of cold exposure during your week. Okay, rule number five. You got to get your gut health in order. You see, your gut determines whether creatine even reaches the brain. You know, a strong man with a weak gut is a collapsed empire. Absorption is everything. So poor gut health reduces things like your creatine uptake, amino acid absorption, vitamin and mineral absorption, inflammation control, and the quality of your sleep. So the quick and easy checklist for this and your action plan is to watch this video. The link is in the description. Okay, rule number six for megadosing creatine after 50, and that is controlling stress and cortisol. You see, high cortisol blocks creatine uptake and recovery. Stress 
Now that's the invisible enemy of a man over 50. You know, it turns your body against you. Cortisol opposes things like creatine transport, reduces your testosterone, it weakens sleep, shrinks your pump. Now here's your checklist. Start with things like morning sunlight. If you don't get enough sunlight, start using red light therapy. Use breath work. Start implementing boundaries with people who drain your time. And use herbs like rhodiola early in the morning to control your cortisol. And most importantly, stop eating two to three hours before bed. Rule number seven, you must train hard. Now, creatine, that increases your potential. Intensity, that activates it. Most men, they don't need more workouts. What they actually need is more purpose within the workouts that they're already doing. Now, creatine, that boosts phosphorus levels, but only intense contraction uses it. So here's your checklist. Use something like the shit training method. And I've got a big video coming out on that next week. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe now. Put your notifications on because it will tell you everything you need and you didn't even think you needed to know about the shit training method. Also, things like track your progress. And most importantly, no ego lifting. Okay, rule number eight. You want more? Stack your creatine. Now, creatine alone is powerful, but with allies, it becomes a weapon. Now, the older man doesn't rely on just one tool. He builds an arsenal. So each of these supplements strengthen a different part of their creatine pathway. So in this stack, we have L-leucine. That activates muscle protein synthesis. HMB, the free, form, the free acid, should I say, that prevents muscle breakdown. Then we have TMG, that supports methylation, preventing creatine crashes. And then we have taurine. Now taurine, that regulates cell hydration and nerve function. Now together, when you put these together, they amplify ATP, recovery, muscle retention, and cognitive power. Now your checklist, if you want a checklist on this, go and watch part two. The link is in the description and that will tell you the protocol and the dosages. Rule number nine, if you are mega dosing creatine and you want to get the absolute benefits from it, you've got to add a little sodium via way of a pinch of salt pre-workout. Now this is like the secret handshake rule because sodium improves nerve conduction, creatine improves ATP turnover. Add them together and your strength feels wired into the floor. Now this is why some men feel flat, even when they're properly dosed. They're not electrically charged. Sodium, it fixes that. Okay, rule number 10. Do not cycle off creatine. Yes, you can cycle off caffeine. You can cycle off your pre-workouts and I would heavily advise that. And you can cycle off half the supplements in the world. But creatine, after 50, your baseline levels, they drop with age. This is your lifeline. It's like your backup generator, your cognitive insurance policy. So mega dosing creatine, once you can tolerate the creatine, stay on it. Now I'm gonna leave you with this. You're not the average man. You're not the average man over 50 because average men over 50, they fade. Average men over 50, they soften. Average men fear decline more than they fear in action. But you, you're learning the rules that turn megadosing creatine after 50 into a weapon, a strategy, a protocol, a second chance at power. You're not taking creatine like a supplement. You're taking it like a man who's reclaiming his ground and refuses to lose. The mission continues. Peace.